Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. And we're going to continue on box number two of the uh, Secret Source. Dun dun dun. But my Secret Source commented on one of my videos on Facebook, so I guess he's not a secret anymore. He also called me, or uh, texted me tonight, and said, I have more for you. So, guess what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to go get some more boxes. Until my house is stacked so full that when my husband kicks the bucket, or when I kick the bucket, whoever is left here has a business to run. <laughs> I mean, I know that's a weird thing to say, but... Gotta prepare for the future. And I'm gonna grab a handful. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, 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 I like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. Oh, and tonight we don't have the little foxy. What we have is the very nice red Cabernet Sauvignon. So, I'm, it's only 11 something, and I'm thinking, I'll get the video done, and drink my little wine, and then I'll go to sleep. Because I don't usually drink wine, um, and I very rarely sleep at night. I sleep weird hours. So, we're going to try this. This is going to be a little, uh, experimentation. Mm. Good stuff. And this looks like, ooh, ooh, look at that, it's got rhinestones on the end, it's a mesh scarf, oh, that's beautiful, pretty, please tell me it's a Whiting and Davis, that would be awesome, nope, it is not, it is Bebe, and it is? Chainmail scarf with the price scraped off, scraped off. But I don't care because that is really neat. And it's about, hmm, let's see, how, how long are you? You are about five feet long feet long, or four and, four and something feet long, wow that's really cool, very cool, here's a little rainbowy, um, stretchy, crystally glass, glass, yeah they're real glass, they're glass ones, glass, glass, okay, and then we have, Another very cool piece. Auntie Linda's Treasures. Kauai Hawaii. Hawaiian Jewelry and Gift. And this is branch, little bitty branch coral. Probably died. Because I think branch coral is, this kind of branch coral is generally a little lighter than this. It's not really red. It's like an orange. That is a nice piece though. Real deal. Real deal. That goes in the real deal pile. Oops, wait, no. No, no. We can't put anything in the real deal pile until we put it in the hold until we've figured out if our video is going to take. <laughs> All right, here is a seed bead spiral. I forget what they call this kind of spiral. With rose gold or bright copper findings kind of cool very nice little bracelety bracelet there's another brace slitty bracelet bracelet come on in. get out of there oh it's got one of these kind pardon me excuse me pardon me there we go it is a little black stone with some very 
busy patterning on the, the silver tone so that it gives it some sparkle, but there are no rhinestones on here. It's just the metal, patterned metal, and the black stone in the middle. And the clasp is one of these little hook guys. And the other end is a little bell, ball, ball, bell of the ball dealy. So that's cute. I mean, it's not <clears throat> high end or anything, but it's cute and it looks, it's kind of got that Victorian style to it. Here's another neat bracelet with some old timey cages with little pearls inside. These, um, these kind of beads are like 1970s, I think. This is big. Um, pretty sure that's an ankle bracelet, which is kind of weird with these big beads, but... Or it's for a very big wrist. Oh, wait a second. It has a... Let's see what happens when we put it down to... Oh, wait. Is this not... Oh, it's not. I don't know why this part is... You should be able to shorten it, but you can't. So that's different. That's, um, hmm, not really sure about that. Here is a very nice Greek key, silver tone. Really nice bracelet. And it has no name on it, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, no name. Sure is pretty, though. I like Greek key for some reason. It's very cool, but it's it's all in good shape. Of course I put that backwards. Wait, I can't flip it. I have to do it over again. Can't flip it. Anyway, that's a nice one. Here's a nice enameled stretch with some really nice patterns on it. That's a really cool one. Who does that belong to? It had a... It had a tag that could have identified it for us, but... No. It's just going to have to be a no-name. It's in really nice shape, and it's really heavy, and I don't really think it's a no-name. I just think it's not labeled. So that's a shame. And then we have some cloisonne. Actually, it's faux cloisonne because there's no... You can't feel the wires at all. It's painted. Painted porcelain. Here's a brass one with... Uh, there was some kind of an inlay here, but it's missing some pieces. So that's a crafter. Crafty lot. Here is a very nice bright and shiny gold clamper. And he says nothing really. He says nothing on him. I'm very shocked by that. It looks like it should be like a Monet or something. Sweet. Here is another faux cloisonne guy. Uh, painted porcelain. Or painted or enamel or something. Yeah, there's... Unless this is very finely done... I think it's uh, just painted. Hold one moment. Let me look. Yeah, these are just painted on, but they're really nice. Faux cloisonne. So basically, that these guys that look like cloisonne, these are just enamel. I see a lot of times people call them cloisonne, but they are not. They are painted porcelain. 
Still very nice, but not cloisonné. And you can tell by feeling it, if it feels smooth, it's painted. If you can feel the little wires in it, it is cloisonné. And here's some fishies. Articulated fishies. And they have little loops here. I'd like to hang some stuff off them loops, but I don't know if maybe they had something hanging off the loops. But it's bar chain. It's in great shape. It does not have a clasp. But the fishies are cool. Fishy 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 fish. Fishy 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 fish. Ooh, look at this one. Please tell me this has a name on it. This just begs for it having a name. But some of the prettiest stuff just doesn't. It's kind of weird. Let me undo it. Wait, come on, undo. 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 Mm. Well, it does not have a name, and it's difficult to get open. But it is a beautiful purple rhinestone bracelet with big glass stones. They're all uh, prong set and there are none missing. And there is not a single word on here anywhere. And look, even the back is nice. There's like no wear on this at all. And it's a little big for me, but you get the idea. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. That's amazing. So yeah, that's definitely a vintage piece. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here is the X's and uh, it's like that X link. And it's got little, I don't know, uh, what do you call that, lozenge-shaped links, too, that have, they're kind of textured. And it's a choker length, and it's got two clasps. You can take, I'm pretty sure you can take one out to make it shorter. And is there a mark upon it? No, this one doesn't have a mark either, so that's kind of weird. It feels like Monet or Napier or one of those types, but it doesn't have... Beep. Beep. It does not have <clears throat> a mark on it anywhere. Here's a nice little icing pearl. Pearly pearly necklace, faux pearls. They are knotted and their their shine is still good. It's icing, so it's not high end fake. It's little teenager store at the mall fake, but they're still in great condition. They really are. So I'm thinking those were for, you know, eighth grade formal or something. Very cool. Cute. And they feel, they still feel nice. They're not plastic pearls. Like, they're, they feel like they're decent. Here is a steel loop de loop -de, And it's got no name on it. And it's got some rhinestones. And it reminds me of the 70s. Even though much of the stuff from the 70s doesn't have the bling. It's just uh, the either the silver tone or the gold tone. So this might have been moving into the 80s when everybody wanted some sparkle for the disco. And this is a Harry Potter thing. And I'm not sure which house this is. J.K. Rowling, Wizarding World. Da-da-da-da-da. 
Which one is blue? Which one is blue with the uh, eagle? I know it's not um, it's not Gryffindor. Hufflepuff? No. Ravenclaw? Maybe Ravenclaw because it's a bird. Neato. Neato, bandito. Love that. Okay, so we're about halfway done. Gosh, this goes quick. Here is a little silvery bits. I don't know, this might be um Tesco. Tesco. Silver. Alpaca. Got no handful. Oh, come on, don't. Do not tangle up, please. Ah, it's being difficult. There we go. All right, here's a little pendant with cream colored birdies and a pink sparkly heart. And little green rhinestone eyes. Cute, cute. Let me move this over here a little bit. There we go. Move that over. Here is another faux uh, cloisonne. No real wires in it. It's just painted onto a metal bracelet. It's got blue enamel on the inside. I think it's copper. Or brass. The um, enameling on the inside is kind of messy. But it's got like fruits and flowers and stuff. It's kind of cute. Neat. Neat. Here's another one of those that is faux. Wait a minute. This might not be faux. Hang on a minute. I think this one is also painted, but it's a nice color. Pretty cobalt blue enamel bracelet. Nice. Okay, where have we here? This is another one that has two clasps on it, and I wonder why. Ooh, this one has... Oh, wait, it says China. China on one of them, and China on both. So this is a Chinese steel bracelet with some rhinestones. Cute. Nice. Will wear like iron, most likely. Ow! Got stabbed. Um, <laughs> I got bitten by a giraffe's. Bitten by a pair of giraffe's. Wait a second. Let me see if I can't get the... Come on. Come on, close. There we go. Isn't he adorable? Or aren't they adorable? They're very uh, three-dimensional. Let's see if we can't get them to focus correctly. Come on. You know you want to. Cute little guys with green eyes. A mama and a baby. And I do not see a mark on them anywhere, which is highly surprising because they're really pretty and really nicely done. But no, there is absolutely no mark on these. Beautiful things. Well, critters. They've got critters. Ooh, here's a fun one. Mother of Pearl Medallion. And it's weird, one of the pieces is like dark like that. That's weird. But they're all there, and they're on a, um, oh, I can never remember the name of the stitch. It's a spiral stitch. Um, seed beads. That's a pretty one. And here's an interesting 
plastic guy. Fiberglass, I think it is fiberglass. It looks like it to me, because that's what fiberglass looks like when you sand it and shape it. Might be epoxy as well. Here's a brass one with acrylic over top. That's cool. I like that. Sparkles. This is a stretchy one with beautiful, beautiful cuts and beautiful Aurora Borealis. And the colors are not all exactly the same. It's very, it's varied. It's like yellow through orange. A little bit of green in there. It's kind of cool. Look at that cut. It's really nice. Sparkly. Here's another one. This is just a plain strand of... Come on now. Undo. Undo. Undo it. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, play nice. Okay, there we go. This is a full strand of knotted, I think. Knotted mahogany obsidian. That's that rusty colored one with the black spots in it. I think you've all seen it somewhere. Um, that's a nice one. Here's one of these flat chains. I don't know what it's called. I think it's Harry Herringbone. Harry Herringbone? Korea. So that's a... That is a vintage one. It says Korea on it. Come on now. Don't be like that. Uh, you'll have to trust me. It says Korea. It does have a little bit of wear on the, on the very edges of the piece. Interesting. This is something that I love. This beautiful chain has no name on it, but look at the work. Look at that work. It's like a spiral link. It's almost floral. It's very nice. Very, very shiny. Very, very nice. Very, very unmarked. Which is shocking to me. I love it. This is one of those kind that you wear by itself without a pendant. Because it's just so spectacular. Look at that work. Gorgeous, and it's very, very shiny and very, very nice. And I'm almost convinced that there was a tag on it that got re removed. There had to have been because it's too nice. Here we go. This is Elizabeth II Regina, and that is Queen Elizabeth on three coins on a shield, and I don't know why. That's strange. On a on a copper chain, copper, copper, copper. I mean, I love copper, but this is just weird. <laughs> and I also love the queen, so it's kind of weird that I don't like that. The queen is amazing. I wish she would live forever. Of course, I'm not a Brit, so <laughs> I'm just a weird Anglophile, I guess. Here's a little mousey. A little mousey. Isn't she cute? I don't know what this is for or what she's doing. It's kind of an odd piece. There is no mark on the back. No marky mark. No marky mark. Win, 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 win. Here's a brushed. Oh, this is one of those ones with the magnets in it. And it doesn't have a name, but it's brushed. It looks like brushed steel and shiny, shiny, shiny gold tone. So that's a nice one. 
That looks good. There's like several different ones like this that you can wear them all in a stack and they look really cool. This is quartz chip and pearl. I'm not sure if the pearls are real. They may be because they're all different sizes. Hmm. I can't tell right now. Yeah, they might be. Let's see what kind of a price tag on, I had on it. Yeah, my guy called me. Ugh, I'm going to go up there. What? I can't read it. And I don't think it's a price tag. Price, oh, price is $18. So they're probably not real, but the quartz is real. And that's an interesting combination, the quartz and the golden peachy pearls. Grab another handful. Grab another handful. No, no, no. Do not do that. Okay. Because we don't have a whole lot of time left, so we're just going to grab a little bit at a time. Here is Sophia and Kate. And it is a big, chonky... Uh, oh, why is that? Okay. My color went weird for a second. It's a stretchy... Um resin roses bracelet and then there's two bangles with it and then there's a plastic faceted guy and then there's a pearly one with some um, silver tone beads as well oh wow why is it doing that weird thing where it changes color so that's a fun one and it was scribbled out and what did it say it said $12.99. So that's a fun one too. I'm getting full over there. Here's a really pretty. I love this. So nice. So very vintage. It's got a brushed gold box clasp and it doesn't have a name on the back and it doesn't have a name on here. that back in there but it's two strands of these little gold tone satin finish look at those aren't they beautiful there is absolutely no wear on this at all except for a little bit on the back of the clasp these are strung on chain and it's just a gorgeous piece Beautiful thing. Look at that. Me likey. That is vintage, vintage, vintage. Here's a little girl's bracelet. That is ballerinas and toe shoes. And so cute. And no name. But that's really cute. If you have a little granddaughter or daughter that does the ballerina thing, it's a slide bracelet. With the fold over clasp. Very cute. So cute. Let me get you can get a better look at it there. Cute. <laughs> Here is a jade. Jade. Jadeite. Uh hand done. Beaded necklace with little I'm pretty sure those little gold ones are vermeil. They could be gold because they'd be hard to test. Um, I'm pretty sure they're vermeil. Very nice piece. Really pretty. Jade, jade, jade. And then... Here's a really cool chain. I don't know what that's called. A wheat chain? Is that a wheat chain? 
Maybe. But it has this weird thing on it that says Nestle. Nestle Safety Program. I made the difference. So what I would do would be take this off and sell the chain maybe with some other piece on it because this is beat up and a very hard thing to sell. I mean, I could put it up, but yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. And then we have uh, a Monet plastic bead necklace with a spring ring clasp and little gold beads in between. So that's a fancy, fancy, fancy plastic. Wipe all that gunk off. It's shiny too. Look at that. Very nice. Okie dokie. Um, we're at 31. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, my foot. Eee, fell asleep. <sighs> okay. So, tomorrow I'm going to get more. I know you all must think I'm completely insane, but, uh, I'm going to do it while I can afford to do it, um, so that when I can't afford to do it, I still have backlog. Um, so, we're still on the, uh, the boxes from my secret stash, Se secret source, um, and I've already gotten another one after that, so... Please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave a comment in the down there, and be yourself, because everyone else is taken.